What is up guys? Welcome to Tech Savvy Buyer. So today is a special episode just because you guys have been a wonderful audience of mine. You guys have done a lot to support this channel. So I want to teach you guys something pretty cool that you guys will hopefully enjoy. Now, today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can take any PC game that you can think of, whether it's on an emulator, whether it's on Steam, Battle.net, you name it, you've got it. And you can run that game on any Android device, at least if it's about, you know, manufactured in the last couple of years, let's call it. Probably not an ancient Android device. But nonetheless, as long as it supports a specific app, you guys are good to go. So let me show you guys how that works and what this service is coming up. All right, guys, so let's jump into this right away. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can put any PC game that you want on a tablet or an Android device, whatever you want, even if you have something fancy like this wrong, which by the way, I highly recommend. But this service is none other than Shadow, guys. And if you haven't seen my other video, I'll link it up right here so you guys can take a look at that. But I did a review on Shadow and they are probably, arguably, the best cloud gaming service that you can possibly get. And not because they only connect you to certain game things, you actually get a whole PC rented out for you for only 35 bucks a month. But if you use my code, TSB, you get to save 10 bucks in addition per month. So you'll get it for 25 bucks a month. And that's only because I'm sponsored by them, so obviously you're gonna get some kind of bonus for me delivering this to you. Now you might be thinking, well, it's like cloud gaming, it's streaming, it's gonna be crappy on Wi-Fi and all that stuff, but hold your horses, guys. Cause until you haven't tried this service and everybody's experience is kind of different, depends how close you are to a service so or a server. So I definitely recommend that you at least try it. You know, what's the cost? 25 bucks a month, like what, a few beers or something? It's dirt cheap, so it's not something you should be worried about. You guys can definitely handle this. Anyways, let's jump into the grids. So what you gotta do first is obviously create an account with Shadow and you're gonna download the app onto your tablet, your phone or whatever device it is. So I'm gonna show you guys here on this. By the way, this is a JXD Singularity S192K and this is a beast of a tablet. It's, got, it's a little bit outdated with specs, but that's because it is from 2017 and we are in 2019, but this is more than adequate to run Shadow. So you'll see an app on the bottom, just like that. On the bottom, right, there you go. So you're gonna open this app, and once you do, it's gonna log you in to your account after you put in your credentials, obviously, and you'll be able to access your games anywhere. Now, a couple of things I noticed. If you do have a PC, whether it's a laptop, you know, this could be some really crappy PC, even a Chromebook, I think. Well, maybe not a Chromebook. Any kind of PC, let's call it, that runs Windows or Mac, that's where you wanna start from. And so here's what I mean when I say that. I've noticed in my experience using Shadow that it's a lot easier if you have the game open and running on one PC that you're using, and then you all of a sudden switch over to a tablet or a phone or whatever it is that's running Android on. Even it's smart TV, by the way. Once you switch over, the transition is actually very seamless and it works really well. Otherwise, when you're gonna log into it on the app from the device, you're basically logging into Windows and you're gonna have to use this tiny little screen to put your password in, put all that stuff in, use your finger as a mouse cursor. And for me, that's not the ideal thing because I have big fingers and I'm fat, but for you, that might work well. So that might be the route you wanna take it. So the purpose of this video is not to say, hey, go and get a Shadow subscription and you know use it on a tablet. It's really to show you how to optimize that and so that you get the best experience while you're doing this. So chances are you either already have a subscription service with Shadow or you don't. Either way, you should by the end of this video so that you can actually game anywhere you want. So we're gonna hop onto the PC. I'm gonna log into Shadow, show you how that entire thing works. And then from there, we'll come back here and we'll hop in on the mobile device and or this tablet. And I'll also tell you guys that I can't recommend high enough to get this specifically just because it has joypads built into the tablet, which makes it a much more phenomenal experience. It works really well. It detects this controller as an Xbox 360 controller. And you can also use this to play like Android games, obviously. You can play all kinds of emulators. PSP games run really, really well. So God of War works really well on this, surprisingly. You can play PS1 games, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, you get the gist. This is a beast for emulation as well. But I love that it does streaming really, really good. So let's hop over there, let's take a look at that, and then I'm gonna show you guys how you hop onto it here, and then let's continue. So I'll see you guys on the PC. All right guys, so welcome to the PC. Woohoo! All right, so what you're gonna do is open up your browser, you're gonna go to this website, shadow.tech, and this is basically Shadow's main website. 
And for those of you guys who have been following my channel, one thing you'll be really happy to see is that they've already expanded quite a bit because first they just had covered here and then here, and now they've added all this chunk here, which is great. And they're going pretty fast, so pretty soon you'll be able to play this if you're in one of these states and you're not covered yet. So anyways, the gist of it is, you can basically use this to game anywhere, as you can see in the picture here. Even if you have an iPhone, believe it or not, they actually updated the app to an iPhone. Although this video is not focused on that, it is good to know. If you're playing in Full HD, you can go up to 144 frames per second, and if you're on a 4K screen, you can go up to 60 frames per second, which is pretty good, and at max settings, which is awesome. A lot of graphic cards can't even push that. Anyways, what you want to do is you want to go to Downloads, and you want to download the app, and of course you want to subscribe. So you're going to create an account for yourself, you're going to you know, pick your state and put your in there and whatnot, and don't forget to put my code in, because if you do, you should be able to save 10 bucks and bring it down to $25 like I said. So anyways, not to spend too much time on this, this is how you go ahead and subscribe to them. It's really simple. There's um, no kind of contractor stuff with this. So if you don't like this and it doesn't work well for you, it's $25, guys. You're not really losing much. So you can cancel at any time and they're not going to you know, penalize you for it. So anyways, here we go. So we've got this open. What we're going to do is we're going to boot open Shadow and not beyond Shadow. And once you open it, you're going to get an app that basically looks like this. It's going to do its little twirly thing here and just check for some updates and whatnot. And this is what you should be presented with. So this is basic settings. What you want to look at is your bandwidth and if you want to launch in full screen mode or not. I'm going to choose not to launch in full screen mode because I don't want to use this in full screen. Now bandwidth is probably the most important setting. Remember guys, I told you we're going to walk through a settings. If you adjust this incorrectly, it's basically going to tell Shadow Server that you have a either a faster connection than you really do if you put this too high or a slower connection than you really do if you put it too slow. And so it's going to adjust its video output to your computer based on the settings that you tell it. Now they have an experimental setting inside here that's called auto bandwidth. And so far I've had really good luck with this. So I just usually click that. Now for record, my internet connection is 400 megabytes down or megabits actually. So I would adjust this to really 40 if I wanted to keep it on that. Just for reference if you guys are looking for it. Now there's a whole bunch of different settings in here. You don't need to touch any of these unless you really want to. Now for this purpose of this video, since we are using Android devices, none of this stuff really applies except the auto bandwidth thing. That's what you want to keep enabled here on your PC and you're going to do this on your device as well. You don't need to worry about optimized transmissions and in case you do, leave it to the default it prefer speed over reliability so that you get latency free gaming. And that's what we're shooting for here. When you click start, now of course for you guys who are doing this for the first time, you're actually going to be greeted with a Windows computer like you're starting up for the first time ever. You know, put your name your computer this and set the time and date and all that kind of crap. So as you can see I was already logged in. And I already had Battle.net open, but this is what Shadows looks like. It's just a normal Windows PC. There's nothing super fancy, nothing super special. So I'll go ahead and blow up the screen here so you guys can see more clearly. And you can see like the resolution looks a little bit dull compared to my screen. That's because this is actually projecting 1920 by 1080 and I can go and change that if I want to. But because I'm going to be streaming this to a mobile device or any other device, I recommend you guys keep this on 1080 resolution. You can adjust it to whatever you want. See, it's letting me take that to 4K if I want to, but I don't want to take it to 4K because I'm going to stream it. Anyways, you can see I have a number of few games installed here. Now, the drive that they give you is only 256 gigabytes, so that can be a pain in the butt, I'm not going to lie. You're going to find yourself in situations where you have to delete a game to put on another game, and that really is a pain in the ass, let's not lie. Now, you see I have Call of Duty here, or Call of Duty Black Ops 4 here specifically, and by all means guys, I do not recommend anybody to play this over any kind of cloud gaming because if you're doing it, at least for multiplayer, you're doing it wrong. And I wanted to actually test to see how bad the lag was, and believe it or not, it's actually per it's playable. I will say it's playable. You're not going to go and compete in esports with this, but it's playable. So anyways, let's try a more title that doesn't involve like you know immediate fast reactions because again you're streaming and you want to make sure that you have latency free so GTA 5 is a good example or Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I actually like Shadow of the Tomb Raider a lot so I'm going to go ahead and launch this game. All right here we go. Pick play. All right guys so the game is finally updated and now here we are. So you can already tell like the resolution looks kind of fuzzy and that's again because I've only saved this on 1920 by 1080 even though my display is 4k so that's on me. You guys will not have this issue. This is my build specifically that's like that. 
Graphics are set to high, resolution is on 1080, and you can see the details are, you know, pretty decent. Now, I'm, I'm not going crazy on this and turning every single thing to maximum, even though I can if I want to, but again, I want the speed, so I don't want to do that. And on mobile devices and tablets and stuff, I'd recommend that you try and just keep this kind of normal. You don't want to put too much of a load on it because at the end of the day, it is streaming. So now you want to back out and just kind of leave this on the main menu if you want. You can go ahead and start a game if you want and pick up from there. But this is what I do. So I'll log into Shadow, I'll log into the game that I want to take with me and play, and then I'll just leave my computer as it is. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how it works on an actual device. We'll hop over to that, we'll open it up, we'll log in, and then you should see this exact same screen go on there, and we'll play a few games. I'll show you guys all that stuff and what it's cool. All right, guys, so welcome back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open Shadow on this device, and I'm going to show you guys how it works. So you're going to go over to your Shadow app. Again, if you don't have this installed, you just go to Google Play Store like this, and you just search for a Shadow. Boom, and there you go. That's the app that you need. You're gonna have that installed. So we're gonna click open, and here is the app. And it looks kind of finicky, I'm not gonna lie. This doesn't look all that pretty. It is what it is. We click on games, and you're gonna click here. And boom, it's gonna start your stream. And here we are, device is connected. The audio is now starting to come out from the speakers here. You can see I can control windows there. And look, if I click this, or bring that down, I can actually adjust shadows bandwidth. And you see, I've set this here to 15 because the Wi-Fi is actually slow, but I'm gonna bring this back up to 30 because I'm near a router. And again, the auto bandwidth was on the PC, it's not on the mobile, but here we go, look at that. So I'm running Shadow of the Tomb Raider on high settings, a PC game that would basically destroy a lot of graphic cards as powerful as they are. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, for anyone knows, is a very, very demanding title. And it's running on an Android device. Look at this. See that? Now this, like I told you guys, this is the best thing to run it on because you got the joysticks and you got all this stuff. It just makes it super easy to play. And see how it mapped automatically? I don't have to adjust anything. So I'm gonna play the game and there you go. I can load into it and it looks and runs really, really smooth. But overall, I was really satisfied with the experience of playing on this device. All right, look at that. See that? That is badass. And look at that, there's literally no lag. I'm gonna press the button here, jump. So there was a bit of audio delay there. Which is okay, I can deal with that. But I mean, look at the graphics, look at the resolution. You're getting PC quality gaming experience on a handheld device here, which in itself speaks freaking miles, guys. So this is a beast. Again, like I said, if you wanna do this, oh, oh look, some lag over there. My bandwidth's not right. So this is the setting I was telling you that you need to adjust, right? So obviously 30 megabits on this wasn't doing it justice. So we're gonna set this back down to 15 megabits and I'm gonna boot back out. Oh no, my stream has paused. What a bad example for a video. <laughs> There's a wonderful thing you can do. If you ever do get hung up like that, like I just did there, you can just reboot the stream and it's smooth again. And usually you'll do that if you adjust your megabit sense. So don't get alarmed. Don't think, oh my God, I wasted all my money. It's normal. It's okay. It happens. We're not expecting the world out of this device. Remember that. So overall, look, I mean, this is smooth. Like I said, guys, this is good. This is great. Not good. This is great. And if you want to play this, I would recommend you get this device. Do you see how everything just automatically mapped to it? You've got your shoulder buttons on the top and everything to use with it. Since I've gotten this, it has been wonderful playing games on the go with this, whether they're Android, emulator, PC based through Shadow or whatever. So I'll leave a link in the description to buy this. I actually picked this up from GearBest. They were kind enough to send this over for review. So you guys can go ahead and pick one up from GearBest. Link is in the description below. But that pretty much concludes this video, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're gonna go ahead and try this and you know, always support the channel. So give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if not, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. I'm cool with that. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you staying this long and watching. Go and kick some ass and get some of these cool things on your systems. And let me know in the comments below how it is. I'll see you guys there. And until my next video, peace out.